Southwestern corn borer was once a major pest on the high plains, but since the adoption of Bt corn for caterpillar control, it has become far less common. Non-Bt corn is still at risk from this insect. There are two generations per year, and sometimes a partial third generation. Numbers increase with each generation, and fields with high numbers in the first generation are likely to have high numbers in the second generation. The insect overwinters as a last stage larva in the corn stalk base or root crown, and adults emerge and lay eggs of the first generation on upper and lower surfaces of expanded whorl leaves. Eggs are laid in clusters and are initially creamy white, and after about 24 hours, three red bands appear on each egg. Small larvae hatch from the eggs in about five days and begin feeding in the whorl. The typical rows of holes across the leaf surface associated with whorl feeders become apparent as the leaves unfold. Another leaf symptom is the window pane effect, where longitudinal transparent areas appear on the leaves where young larvae feed only partially through the leaf tissue. After the larva has fed in the whorl, it crawls down the plant and bores into the stalk. Treatment of the first generation is usually not necessary, but if it is needed, then it should be done before the larvae leave the whorl and enter the stalk. The second generation begins around silking time and is the one that frequently requires insecticidal control. Pheromone traps can be used to detect the second generation flight. The vast majority of eggs are laid in the zone of three leaves above or below the ear leaf and on the ear leaf. Small larvae feed behind leaf collars and ears and beneath the shucks of the primary ear. Older larvae bore into the stalk and continue feeding. This direct damage can reduce yield. As plant maturity is reached, larvae prepare for overwintering in the base of the stalk by girdling the plant from 1 to 6 inches above the ground. Wind can easily lodge girdled plants. Lodged plants are difficult to harvest and yields are reduced. Cultural methods of control include stalk shredding to promote winter larval kill and planting early to lessen later plant lodging. Heavily infested fields may benefit from early harvest at a higher moisture content before lodging occurs.